as you guys can see from the title, today I am doing my pan those eyeshadows up So my four shadows here, I am very excited about this time around. Not gonna spoil it, but I am excited about it. So if you're interested to see where I am at, stay tuned. In case you are new to this project pan, all of my rules are down in my description box so you can check out exactly how I do this project pan. So I have my three palettes, one single to share with you guys today. I will share with you guys on the screen what my color story looked like this past month. I had a lot of fun. It kind of represents my shirt with my eye look today, even though it's completely different. But I'm very excited that I had something fun this past month and I really did enjoy it. So we're gonna start off with obviously the one that has been here the least amount of time. That is the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume. What is that, a five? Volume five, yeah, something like that. So I rolled in the shade Resilient. This was like a soft blue, very pretty. I will tell you that using it though, it does get all over the face if you don't, if you aren't careful with it. I would place it on my eyelid and then not buff it out, touch it or anything. Because if you do, it will kind of get all over the face, which I didn't like, but I loved it as a center portion. That's how I've been using it. So, so far I've only used this 12 times and this is what it's looking like. It looks like I've done absolutely nothing to it but I have used this 12 times, you guys. <laughs> and you may not see something different from what it started out with, but yeah, it's being used. I really like it. It's more of like an accent color, not necessarily an all over the lid color. It is beautiful, I'm not gonna lie, it is beautiful. It's just not something that I reach for. I don't reach for blues right now, but it does kind of go with things that I'm using because I've been mixing it with a different one in here that has really made it stand out. So I kind of like it for that reason. So this is staying in here because I have not reached my goal on that. Miss Pat McGrath. Okay, so this is the Midnight Sun palette. This is the second round that it was in. It had zero uses last update, you guys. And I rolled in the shade, what was it? That burnt brown color. I think it was called Venom. So it was called Venom. So I had zero uses on it and it was so easy and so much fun to use. So I'll show you what it looked like before and it looks like the same exact thing with 20 uses. So here it is right here. You guys, you barely have to dip your brush into that shade for it to really, really be potent and in your face. So it, it was gorgeous. I loved it as an outer, outer V. I loved it all over the lid. I loved it as a lower lash line. I used it in almost every single look that I did because I was using a lot of warm tones in here. I actually used this palette as well for a few dinners that I had. So I really took advantage of this palette and had a lot of fun with it. It's beautiful. That shade is gorgeous. So I got my 20 uses. It looks like I barely made a dent. Looking at that shadow, you could see up close that I, I did use it, but because I only had to go like this, boop, and then on my eyelids, I didn't, I didn't have to swirl or anything because it was just so pigmented. You're not gonna see much of it. So I am rolling this one out because I did meet my goal of 20 uses and I knew I would. I knew this month was gonna be a lot of fun with it and I did take advantage of it. Then we have our single here. So this single was rolled in last month, I believe. This is Burst Into Bloom, such a beautiful color, and it's a L'Oreal Infallible. These are not made anymore. So I'll share with you guys what it looked like before, and this is what it's looking like now. You guys can see that there is a nice dip in the center. I have used this 20 times. This went perfect with Pat McGrath Venom. And then I grabbed my Pat McGrath, the blue shade in Resilient, and put it right in the center of my eyelid with this. It looked beautiful. Any warm tone look that I made this past month, if I use this with it, it went perfect. This is like the kind of purple that I love. I love these kinds of purples where it is warm, it's soft, but it has a hint of pink in there. It, like even with this look, if I wanted to, I could put it in the center and it will look so beautiful. It just gives it a nice touch to it. This was beautiful all on its own. It was very soft, but if I would add the Pat McGrath on top of it, it would just bring it up a notch. So I really liked it. It was a really, really nice shade. There's a reason why I've kept these in my collection. They're just so beautiful. So this is getting rolled out because it did get 20 uses and you can, you could see that. 
you can now see that it has been well loved. And last but not least, we rolled in a shade called Wisteria from the Ferro palette. This is my favorite palette. I really do enjoy it. It actually is the shade of my dress right now. <laughs> so I obviously rolled this in last update and you guys, I was so shocked. I was able to hit pan on this one. So this only took six uses for me to hit pan on. This was a lot less impacted into the shadow. So I only had to dip in here six times and because I was using a fluffy brush, the bristles like broke it down and I was able to pick it up. Now with that said, most times whenever a shadow is like that, it's not pigmented, doesn't last on the eyes, completely the opposite. Because these are pigments, pressed pigments, the pigmentation was ridiculous. You guys saw it in a video that I did. I actually used it in a video, pigmented, showed up and lasted all day. But because this one is just less, uh, pressed in, it just was a little bit more fluffier. So somehow I ended up with a corner, <laughs> a corner pan instead of in the middle, which I'm perfectly fine with. It is beautiful. I really do like it. So now this palette has two pans in it, you guys. Finally, I've broken the curse of not being able to hit pan in this, pro in this project because I've only hit pan one other time. So this is not my second pan in here. I still have quite a bit to go. <laughs> to meet my goal of pans, but at least I got one in and it came out of here. This was a rather pigmented shadow, but I was very happy and pleased that it came out of this one. All right, you guys, so what does that mean? So we are keeping this palette in still because this is still not done. We are rolling out two palettes and bringing in a single as well. So we're gonna roll in two palettes and a single, but before we do, I wanna share with you guys all the color stories we have had this far because I love watching these back as well. So enjoy. Okay, you guys, so we are gonna roll in two eyeshadow palettes. So I will obviously put that on the screen so you guys can come along and share that with you guys. I'm hoping I get palettes that are easier to hit pan on, that are colorful or that are warm toned for this time of year. I don't wanna do any cool tones. <laughs> Shut up! Let's get started. It just can't. You guys, I've, I've tossed in the flag, I'm done. <laughs> so the Mini Metropolis, that is a green and gold palette, which is really nice for this time of year, but I'm not gonna hit pan on that. <sighs> Let's try the next one. Oh. Uh, ColourPop All Amethyst. So it seems like we're gonna have another purple in here. So let's go into our singles and hopes that I get some good. <laughs> another purple. Cargo Shanghai, I will not hit pan on that one as well, you guys. Ugh. All right, you guys, so let me go ahead and grab those eyeshadow palettes and um, the single, and then we're gonna see what colors we will be bringing in. Okay, so our single is Cargo Shanghai. I am pretty sure this has already been in this project pan at some point in a few years ago. So as you guys can see, there is a dip in here but these take a lifetime. I'm using the cream base and I've had over hundred uses and still no pan. So I can almost guarantee this is not gonna hit pan. I'm not even gonna stress over it. Kind of bummed though, because I didn't care for this color, <laughs> but we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. So here are two color, Brazilian from Pat McGrath and then Cargo Shanghai. So we have our Met Metropolis palette, which is right here. This is what it's looking like, the mini one. There are five shades, so we are going to bring in the five. Done, save, and I will share with you guys what it is. Okay. 
number four, which is a matte brown, which is right over here. It's kind of like a brown green, I guess. Won't be hitting paint on that, guaranteed. Yeah, it's another cool toned. Look at that. I said it and it happened. Just like this one, all amethyst. There are nine shades in here. So let me just say that. So this is what this one looks like right here. So you guys know we're going down this year. So let's see what we end up getting. Seven. Three, six, seven, which is called Trigonal. Trigonal, why do they come up with these names? So this one is a soft purple, which is right there. It's a purple kind of month, you guys, purple kind of month. Okay, so let's see. I will tell you right now, for the month of July, this does not go with anything that I care to use. <laughs> um, it'll be interesting to pair these. I think this one I'm just gonna mix with a bunch of browns. I'm gonna finish using this one as far as eight more uses go. And as far as these two purples, they're just gonna be accent colors in my looks, whether it's my lower lash line, uh, mixed in with a different shade, because these are not as potent as in your face so I can get away with using those. That's how I'm gonna end up using these. They're gonna be my complementary shades versus them being like they were last month where they were up front and center and I used them as they were. These are gonna be more of like a complementary kind of look. All right, for the month of July. Not too happy with this color story, but I'll take it over something else that's really boring or a gray or a silver. I'll, I'll take these, I'll take these. <laughs> All right, you guys, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. All right, you guys, I will catch you guys in the videos on the screen. Until then, 